Hey everybody, this is Dan real quick coming at you Saturday morning. You know the date, and I don't even have to tell you. But anyway, for those that don't know, it's the 28th. Uh, I got my hat on because I'm getting ready to go out here and tackle this yard. And um, my wife was complaining about the uh, <coughs> grass in the backyard being a little bit longer. But I ran out of gas last week and I didn't really feel like going to the store and getting no more gas. So, I'll get it today so I don't be in the doghouse. But anyway, um, this video is just a real quick video and it's just a question that I have. If our fight was really against Al-Qaeda all over the world, and as you know, now we've stretched further into Africa under the guise of fighting Al-Qaeda, but if our endeavors against the fight of Al-Qaeda who's allegedly responsible for over 3,000 lives that were lost during September 11th how quickly we forget if our fight was truly against these people then why can't we just step back from Syria as we should have stepped back from Libya and said you know what we don't know who these Arabs are that we are supporting and if there is an inkling that there are Al Qaeda elements or Al Qaeda subgroups or affiliates within these people that make up these free Syrian, free Syrian army people or in the case of Libya the NTC the National Transition Council or if there are Al Qaeda elements within the Muslim Brotherhood or any group that allegedly is fighting for democracy only to replace that said democracy with Sharia. If our intentions were noble, if our intentions were true as the United States government, why can't we just step back and say, you know what, we can't get involved with people that killed our own or people that are killing our soldiers or inspiring others to kill our soldiers if our exploits were noble that's the position that we would take so give me your comments down below I'll leave the comment section open so you can comment as you see fit but tell me what you think about that please give me feedback thank you